All right, let's just jump right into it. I got some potential leaks, some potential rumors about Legend ZA, which comes out sometime next year. And these leaks are kind of regarding like how it's gonna play through, like what what's gonna happen throughout the city. No, there's no like spoilers per se, but it's just kind of like little information about things that we may be curious about. So once again, these are potential leaks. Take this with a grain of salt. Some of these may be true. Some of them may be wrong. The entire thing could be true or the entire thing could be false but it seems pretty reasonable to me so that's why i'm reporting this news so i found this over on 4chan which 4chan is so confusing to use i can't believe people use this website i it's so confusing but also if you guys don't mind leaving a like and subscribing to the channel hitting the post notifications and maybe even leaving a comment down below it really means so much and it's greatly appreciated so this guy said i'm not good at english forgive me for that i wanted to share something that's not groundbreaking, but interesting. My relative works very close to the Pokemon company, and I think he knows what they do there, but sometimes he gives me details that are in the game, and he doesn't spoil it, but sometimes he gives me legit details, blah, blah, blah. So basically, this guy has a relative. Uh, apparently, this guy has a relative, I'll say. That gave him some information about Legend of ZA. So Legend of ZA is going to take place in Kalos region. We already knew that, of course. Lumios is the only explorable part, which that, that to me is a little fishy, first of all, because... I can't imagine the city being the only explorable part because there were some leaks and stuff or rumors ever about a week or two ago saying that like we could go underground into a you know wildlife areas basically where we can explore and I'm sure there's some storyline there and we can capture other Pokemon over there. I just don't see how Lumios would be the only explorable part. Maybe just the main story takes place there. I know that it's pretty much going to take place in Lumio City because I'm pretty sure that's what the Pokemon company even said like on their website. There's like a little subtitle that said like explore Lumio City or something like that. A lot of side quests, but few of them lead to exciting things. So that's kind of, you know, that's kind of typical I feel like with any story game nowadays. It's like there's a ton of side quests, but they don't really matter too much to the actual storyline. Like they're interesting. I think having side quests and having a lot of side quests is great. I'm I really hope that this is true because side quests gives us something to do if we don't want to play through the storyline so fast. Like personally, I don't want to grind through a, a story game super quickly. I want to kind of take my time and enjoy the game, you know what I'm saying? And doing some side quests will also give us some more reason and purpose to play more of the game and explore new things, capture different Pokemon, level them up and everything. So, you know, side quests are great. Next to us is there are underground caves under Lumios where the story elements play out and Pokemon spawn there. So... I'm pretty sure that's going to be true. Like, I'm pretty sure we're actually going to get caves. There have been several different sources that have claimed we're going to get underground caves, which is not unlike Pokemon games, you know what I'm saying? Like, we had it in Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and, you know, Diamond and Pearl. I feel like it's definitely safe to say we will get some underground caves, and I'm, I believe those underground caves will actually lead out to the wilderness so we can actually explore, like, mountains and grassland areas. At least, I really hope so. Like I said in some of my last videos, I just can't imagine this game only taking place in the city. It would be so boring and so gray. So that's why I feel like there's there's gonna have to be some wildlife elements to the game. It's a Pokemon game. We have to capture Pokemon in the wild. It'd be cool if we could capture them underground as well too, or even in Lumio City, like hiding in bushes or trees or whatever. Or maybe even like a like a little park in Lumio City or something like that. Because Lumio City is gonna be it's going to feel a lot bigger than it did in X and Y. Like, X and Y, the, the city didn't really feel that big because it had to be scaled down because, you know, you're playing through the entire map. But this game is going to be where Lumio City is basically the size of a regular Pokemon map. You know what I'm saying? That kind of makes sense. Next up, it says a lot of construction sites can be seen around, which is probably true because from the trailer or the reveal trailer that we got, it seems as if it's going like Kalos and Lumio City is going like under construction to where it was in the past going on into the future and they're building Lumio City. So I think that pretty much seems reasonable. Uh, like buildings being built, different construction areas. I feel like that's most likely going to happen. I'm really curious to see how Lumio City is going to look like in the beginning of the game. Like, is it going to look kind of barren? And are we going to have like little time jumps where the game like fades out and fades back in with, you know, a couple more buildings and stuff like that. I think that'd be kind of cool. Next up is the story of the game has a more serious tone than Legends Arceus. People will talk about death and stuff. Even more serious stuff will be said throughout the game, which I'll not explain what it is, but I could say that it's something I think Game Freak would do. My relative kind of lost me there. 
that seems pretty cool. I think it's great if we have like a more serious tone in a Pokemon game. In my opinion, Scarlet and Violet kind of felt a little too kiddish or babyish at some moments. Like sometimes I was like, this is really what we're getting. I know that Pokemon is technically a company for kids, but as we all know, I'm pretty sure majority of the player, the fan base is, are not kids. Pretty sure most of them are like 20 to 30 year olds. So it'd be great to have a, a little bit of a more serious tone. Like Legends Arceus definitely felt more grown up for a Pokemon game, in my opinion, than the regular Pokemon games. So if this game has an even more serious tone than Legends Arceus, I think that's pretty good. I feel like that's a good direction. And I really do hope that is true. I feel like that's reasonable as well. Old Mega Pokemon are back, except Hoenn Legendary. I don't know what that means. New Megas are also coming. Okay, so we're getting some returning Mega Pokemon and new Mega Pokemon, which I think is safe to say is 100% coming true because why would they give us Mega Evolutions in the game again if they're not going to bring new Megas? And they even teased us with the Mega Evolution symbol at the end of our uh, teaser trailer that they gave us. So I think it's safe to say Megas are coming, and I kind of want to make a more... And I kind of want to make a video about that, but whenever I do videos about Mega Pokemon, they don't really perform that well. So I don't really know if I will. I don't think you guys really enjoy that on my from my content, but we'll see. So I'm curious to see what Megas are coming. I really hope it's Mega Flygon. I think that's like the fan favorite, to be honest. Like We were supposed to get a Mega Flygon, and I'm pretty sure the story went like they just couldn't agree on a good design, so they just kind of scrapped it. So... Hopefully, we'll get a redemption for Flygon. Get that Mega Flygon. Next one, kind of the same thing as what I just recently said about construction sites. It says, renovation of Lumios can be seen in game. So, literally, construction sites are going to be seen, basically. Uh, next up, says, also an outside company is tied up with the Pokemon game to make games, which is Oka. Um, so... I don't know if this came out before or after the fact, like the Ilka stuff with Pokemon Works came out. It's definitely around the exact same time frame, like within a week or so. So maybe this guy just already knew about the Ilka stuff and then posted it in here. Or maybe he did know about the Ilka stuff before um, he, you know, posted this. But I don't think Ilka has anything to do with Legend ZA. So I think that that's kind of just referring to how like Pokemon Works was is a new subsidiary company created by the Pokemon company to kind of co-create stuff with Ilka in a way like kind of be like a looking over their shoulders kind of what I picked up from the leaks and stuff so that's actually pretty cool I think most of these are pretty reasonable I don't see like these these aren't crazy rumors or leaks I think these are things that definitely could actually happen it could be in the game because it's something like insane it's something groundbreaking by any means and I also have one more post this is kind of more so just other Pokemon stuff as well as some ZA things so Apparently, there's a Pokemon press conference for late May. Usual updates such as Pokemon Ghost stuff, um, Masters characters, Pokemon Sleep update, and then the Pokemon TCG Pocket game, whatever, testing for July, then a full summer launch. So apparently, I think that's referring to like the, the trading card game that we were getting for the mobile phones, your iPhones, your Androids, whatever. So it looks like we're going to get that in late summer uh, and have some beta testing going on in July, which... It's pretty cool. That actually looks really interesting to me. I'm kind of hyped about that because I don't understand the TCG. I've never played the trading card game. I, I've played a little bit of the one that was on the Switch Online service, and I just didn't really understand it or care for it, to be honest. So I'm excited to see how that will, will look. This next one is kind of a hefty one. I don't know if this is true or not. Like I said, this is all potential stuff. So Gen 1 and 2 games for Nintendo Switch Online. Gen 1 scheduled for the first week of June. Gen 2 are coming soon. This is going to be massive if this is true. This is what people have been wanting ever since the Switch Online service stuff came out and they announced the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance on the Switch Online. And Gen 1 and 2, like they ported it over to 3DS for the eShop. People have bought Gen 1 and Gen 2 so many times that this would be kind of awesome if they gave it to us in the Switch Online service. Granted, you also have to purchase, you know, you have to own the Switch Online service, which is like $50 compared to like the $20 regular service per year, whatever. So it's kind of a price, but if you're going to use it, it's definitely worth it. And I think that'd be great. The Switch is perfect for Gen 1 and 2. It's literally perfect. And 3. It would be cool to have 3, but I doubt it. But the other reason that I may not think this is real, just because is the fact that the Switch 2 console may be coming out soon. So it's like, why would they, why would they give us Gen 1 and 2 late? into the Switch's life cycle. But then again, it's like, if we're not getting a Pokemon game this year, which it doesn't, we don't have a current Pokemon game announced for 2024. We have Legends of the A coming out 2025. Once again, there's potential rumors about a black and white style game 
created by Ilka being announced and released this year, but I kind of doubt it. I feel like they're not going to. So this would be kind of cool though, if because it would give us a Pokemon game and something that people actually want in 2024. So I hope that's coming out. Announcement about Detective Pikachu 2 film coming out. That's pretty cool. I figured that would come out eventually and I feel like that's, that's legit. And I'd honestly like to see more Pokemon movies, theatrical movies, like in the theaters. Not so much Detective Pikachu. I mean, Detective Pikachu is all right, but I don't think it's anything crazy. It'd be cool to see if they could just do like some type of cool actual Pokemon movie in the, in the theaters. I think that would be really, really great. I don't really mind live action as long as they don't make it cheesy because a lot of the live action stuff is kind of like corny. A lot, of, a lot of it's cheesy, so I don't know. We'll see. And apparently the, the conference ends with a Pokemon Black and White Ultimate Collection announcement. Two versions. Black and White Ultimate Collections come out with Black and White 2. And Black and White 1 and 2 where the Ultimate Collection has 1 and 2. I kind of just said the same thing like five times. I'm sorry, guys. Visuals are very similar to the original games with a res up and smooth out pixels. A release date of a like late November. That would be insane. Okay, if that's true... That's mind-blowing. That'd be super, super sick. I I don't know. I think this seems a little bit far-fetched, honestly. This is definitely like a, a stretch. This is a reach. So I I don't know. This would be cool, and this would be something that Ilka would do, I feel like. This would be probably created by Ilka and Pokemon Works and stuff. So I guess we'll see if this comes true. I would actually love to see this come into fruition, though, because I want to play Black and White 2. I was actually going to buy it like sometime soon. But I wonder, I wonder if this is true. So if this is scheduled for late May, apparently this would be all announced in late May, which I, I don't know. This seems a little bit fishy to me. And then it says we're still working on materials for a two-minute Pokemon Legends EA trailer to be at a separate showcase in June. So we're definitely going to get another trailer for Legends EA soon. Um, and then I'll quickly go through this trailer starts with hand-drawn blueprints that fly away revealing buildings construction Only a few buildings lots of forest lakes and Pokemon roaming around as the camera as the camera sweeps in blah 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 Wilderness like Lumio City digitizes into sci-fi blueprints of the city and shines bright Then we get the city with skyscrapers and then a kind of a montage as different periods in time of Lumio City and some different type of Pokemon in the trailer and everything. This would be a really cool trailer to see, to be honest. And I guess we'll see if this is true. I mean, we're definitely getting another trailer eventually. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Once again, this is all just rumors, potential stuff that may or may not be true. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.